Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Tech Motoring. Well, it's been six months since Hyundai last released their updates in November of 21. So here in April of 2022, they have finally released another batch of updates for their vehicles. So go ahead and get your SD card or your flash drives ready because you'll need those to get the update. All right, everybody. Well, it's been six months since uh, November of 2021, the last time Hyundai has updated their uh, navigation maps, software updates for their vehicles. It is now May of 2022. They released this update in April 28th. It was very far end of the April month this time. So we are finally going to get the update downloaded and put onto an SD card or flash drive and update one of our vehicles to do just that. So if you are looking for instructions on how to upgrade or update your maps and software on your vehicle, go ahead and click this link right up here. That is my whole guide how to, uh, from start to finish of how to update your maps and software on your vehicle. But before you go there, please remember that if your car has an SD card in it, you will need to use an SD card to do the update. If your car does not have an SD card in it, which a lot of the newer Hyundais do not, you will need a flash drive to do the update. Now keep in mind you'll need at least a 32 gig flash drive to do this update. And of course, try to get a, a newer, a little bit more updated uh, SD card or flash drive if you can. This way the process will go a little bit more smoothly for you. So let's dive in and see what they've updated on the software and see what new features we may or may not see. All right, well, here we are on the Hyundai Navigation Updates website. Now, do keep in mind that these updates may or may not affect every single vehicle. So depending on what the new feature is will determine completely on your radio or head unit in your vehicle and uh, what generation it is. So as we can see here, we have an April 2022 navigation and map software update. It was released 28th of April of this year. So I'm finally getting around to it here in the, the beginning of May so we can get this out. Uh, before we look at the new features, let's roll down to the bottom here. It says types of audio systems available to update. So this has an update for the class uh, generation 4 navigation, which is what I have in my 2017 Hyundai Ionic. We also have the standard class Gen 5, that'll get the update. The standard class Gen 5W, which I believe is for wide. Uh, the Gen 2 navigation, that's the premium class Gen 2 navigation. Uh, and also the premium class Gen 5 navigation. So that will also have an update. Uh, now it's not going to guarantee that it's all of these updates, but it is guaranteeing that there is some sort of update in it. So let's go over the first update or new feature as a list. So new feature, when searching for a destination, you can check and select the type of route you want by using the options on the screen, fastest, cost effective, or prefer freeway. Compare distances and travel time at a glance and choose the route you want. If you press the more routes button on the route overview screen, all route options are displayed. And as you can see here, it shows you fastest and cost effective. You can click more routes and then it gives you that prefer freeway or highway option. So that's interesting. I wonder if that will work on the Gen 4 systems. Well, we'll have to check and see. Uh, the clean and stylish black theme has been added, which is weird because I could have swore they put this black theme on the previous update, maybe they didn't get it out to all of them. Maybe this now they're just adding this into um, the rest of the, the head units or the cars. So that's a little weird. So it says you now use the black map theme in the daytime as well as at night. Now, if you did watch my last video on this, these updates, you'll notice that the Gen 4, which is actually this one, the older school Gen 4 navigation, the 7, 8 ton inch touchscreen, this did not get the black map update. When voice recognition is activated, when using the map, the voice recognition information is displayed on a split screen, which is separate from the map screen. Meet the new voice recognition character, your own personal assistant. I have a feeling this is going to be mostly on newer vehicles and probably ones that have the wider touchscreen, probably not the one that I currently have, but kind of a cool feature. I guess maybe they're trying to build some sort of, um, I don't know, basic AI now besides that whole, uh, you know, voice that they come with the, that comes with the car. It's pretty terrible. 
But anyway, uh, let's see the last one here. When using the navigation system to search for nearby points of interest, you can now pick the specific brand or option that you want to display on the map. Just use the filter button. Okay, they're excited about that filter button. You can see the exclamation point. It says view a list of points of interest for a given category by going to the home screen and selecting navigation menu, points of interest categories, and then select a point of interest category. So that's interesting. So I guess you could choose a brand. As you can see, they have like Subway, Smashburger, Chick-fil-A. Like they have kind of a, their own little thing. I, I feel like I've seen this on the current version, but maybe they've just, uh, you know, made some changes. I guess maybe now you can filter out by that, which is kind of interesting. I'll have to look at that before I go um, changing or updating my system to see if that actually is an option already. But we'll, we'll look at that when we get into the car. So that's pretty cool. You get to choose the brand or options right there. All right, so there you go. As you can see, pretty much everything is just a navigation enhancement or update for the Hyundai vehicles. Maybe that personal assistant that they've added in might be something kind of new and interesting for some of the newer vehicles, or at least the ones with the wider screens. So that's pretty interesting. I am kind of curious about that filtering of points of interest as far as like specific uh, companies or categories. So I really am interested to see uh, if that is going to come to the Gen 4 class. I'm also wondering about this black theme because that was definitely in the six month ago update that we had. So I'm wondering if that is, maybe they just added it to the rest of the vehicles or maybe they, um, I don't know, maybe they forgot and maybe they just added it in here too. But I'm really curious to see if this comes to the Gen 4 system because I was really hoping to get it last time. But anyway, now that we've gone ahead and done that, I'm going ahead and updated my SD card for my vehicle and we're going to go ahead and get this updated right now and uh, we'll see if any of those changes happen to the class Gen 4 and of course if you own a uh, Gen 5, 5W, whatever newer version uh, go ahead and post in the comments how the update affected your vehicle specifically and you know let everybody know what was new to that specific vehicle and whether or not you have navigation or not. But anyway, let's go ahead and get down to the car and take a look at the next step. All right, everybody. Well, you join me now in the car to do the update for this Hyundai Ionic EV to get the update uh, uploaded to the car and installed. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. So let's turn you around so you can take a look at the process. All right, so as you can see, we have the SD card uh, door open because of taking out the SD card before. Here's the SD card. Now keep in mind if your card doesn't have an SD card slot or an SD card at all, you just you can use a uh, USB flash drive instead. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in there. We're gonna go ahead and start the vehicle up like so. Do do do, turn down the volume. All right, so here we go. SD card has been inserted, preparing navigation. And what it's probably gonna end up doing is it's gonna end up saying, hey, we found something new on here. Would you like us to update this? So we'll let that do its reboot process there and when it comes back up we'll uh we'll see what it says here we go coming back up with the hyundai symbol there on the screen all right the typical don't drive and look at the screen at the same time waiting to hit the confirm button all right so what i wanted to do is I, before we hit the update button i wanted to check on the map and see if there was um uh, uh see if they had that filter category for the um the points of interest and I think it was like fast food or something or restaurants or um, we'll just see what this says right now so it shows McDonald's firehouse sub so it shows different places here uh, yeah see we already have these categories which is interesting so I'm not sure what it's really adding in this update because it seems like we've already gotten this stuff so one of the things I'll show you is that we do not have the black map color on this vehicle um maybe that'll be added into this update we'll see i'm not really sure if it will so that's the one thing i'm hoping to see at this update it seems like we already got the categories per you know per uh, company or per restaurant or whatever it is points of interest there so it looks like we already have that other than that i don't really see us getting any other functionality so i'm not really sure to see what update we're going to get on this but let's go ahead and uh, start the process now if you're not sure how to start the process uh like let's say you put the sd card in or the usb flash drive and it doesn't pop up and say uh you know hit this button right here to do the update uh what you want to do is you want to go into your regular setup menu go to general and then go to software info so what right now we can see what version we're on so we can see that we are on uh 
21, 10, 26. So what this means is October, which is the 10, 26th of 21 is when the last version update came out for the, this specific car. And uh, we can see the same for the, ver the version for the firmware. It was uh, August 25th of 21. So we'll see if those get updated in the process as well. So let's go ahead and we can hit the update button here. And it's gonna say, do you wanna to update to 220414? So obviously we're getting uh, April of April 14th, 2022. And it's gonna say, do you wanna to update to the next version right now? And of course we're gonna hit yes. And of course, keep in mind that you're not gonna have rear camera or blue link available during this update process, which is completely normal. This process should take about 30, 35 minutes, depending on your vehicle and SD card and a bunch of other factors. So make sure you keep it running, keep it outside if it's a gas vehicle. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, hit the button there. So this is gonna take a little bit for it to do the uh, the update. It's gonna check the SD card for all its information. Then it's gonna apply the update and then it's gonna take a couple of reboots and it's gonna be a little bit. So we'll go ahead and let this do its thing and we shall come back to it in a little bit. All right, looks like the update has completed and we can confirm that by going back into the setup and the general and seeing the software info. 04-14-22, so we are on the newest April update. Uh, let's see what we got here. This is still the same firmware version from last year, so that looks like it didn't get updated, but overall we got the newest software update. So let's see if we get any of those updates. So let's see, map color, nope, still no black. And let's take a look at these point of interest categories here. Let's take a look and see This is still here, so this is still the same. We still got those categories. It's a good thing we have gas stations on here because we really need to know where the gas stations are driving an electric vehicle. So that's really important. So really not too big of an update, all depending on what model uh, head unit you had and all that stuff. So a lot of little updates to the navigation, some improvements, nothing really that uh, stood out, at least on the fourth generation. Uh, but yeah, it looks like some of the stuff was from a previous thing, that point of interest categories thing. It looks like I had that already, so I'm not sure, you know, when that occurred. But um, yeah, so some updates, maybe you get them, maybe you don't, maybe you'll like them, maybe you won't. But either way, you can update your navigation, your maps, your software, and get that all updated and ready to go for your Hyundai vehicle. Well, anyway, hope this video helped you out. If it did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up below. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now just by hitting that button right down there below the video. Check us out on our website, techmotoring.com, on Twitter, at techmotoring, facebook.com slash techmotoring. I'd like to thank you very much again for watching, and remember, welcome to the future, and welcome to Tech Motoring. And we'll see you all on the next map update.